Uh, before we go with the show, okay, so so obviously the there's there's two key things on the show, and one's Gronkowski. Oh, we should probably talk about that in a second, but and the other is the Nia Jax Kyrie Sane thing. I don't know, man. That that she was way too close to throw her. I didn't. I wasn't so uh, Nia Jax didn't do anything wrong when I watched it. You know, I mean, I I was kind of oh, I don't know about this one. Should I read the message I was sent from somebody there? Sure. I was obviously told uh, not to I know mention, what I was told by multiple people. Not to mention this person's name, but... Uh, where is it here? 1,000% uh, Nia's fault. She needs to be fucking fired. She is dangerous. <laughs> Fire her before she cripples or kills somebody. This person was not happy. I wasn't happy watching it. I thought... I mean, to me... It was like when you whip somebody to the steps, I mean, you do it from far away so they are in complete control of, of the run into the steps. They're in control of their thing. This was, she threw her hard, and it was way too close to throw her. That's what it looked like to me. Well, the thing I, to me was she clearly stumbled and flew headfirst into the steps. And yes. I watched it multiple times, and there was nothing on the ground for her to trip on. There was no cord. There was no crack. There was no nothing. So the only way that she would have been out of control is if she was thrown very hard. Well, she was thrown very hard. Right into those steps. She was thrown very hard from too short a distance into the steps. I mean, that's the one. That was the thing when I saw it. That was my take. Is like, it's like she was way too close to the steps and she was thrown really hard. Like if she was thrown really hard, but it's from a normal distance, you get you, essentially you're not going to be out of control by the time you get to the steps. Well, you'd fall one, down prior to that because you're not supposed to be thrown really hard. It's it's fake. It's 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 a show. They pretend to throw you and you run. Exactly. The last thing you want is somebody really throwing you hard into something. Yeah, but from far away, it's not an issue. It's still an is issue because you have to get your footing under you. Nobody should be whipping you hard. Well, right, into right, right, anything. right, right, right. Right, right. Well, so so hard that you, yeah. But but if it's like if you're 18 feet away and they throw you hard in real life, you know, you, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to fall down. You'll, you'll fall down three feet away from them, but you won't hit the steps. But you're not going to hit the steps. So there were steps three feet away here. Yeah, I didn't. I it did not look good. It did not look good to me. I and mean, they 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 did it. It was real quick. Unless you were looking for it. You're really not going to know. They didn't really show the blood. Well, you could you could clearly see her getting whipped into the steps. She goes down. Yes. The referee goes right to her. They cut away, and the next thing you know, she's thrown into the ring. They never show her face. She'd already been, I'm sure, cleaned up and everything like that. And right. then Nia just hit one leg drop, pinned her, and she curls up in fetal position, and they never show her again. And then Asuka comes out and goes after Nia, and that was it. You never saw any blood. If you didn't know, you never would have known anything happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was ed it was edited. Yes. Um, so the other one is the, the Gr Gronkowski. So the Gronkowski thing. When I watched it, it's kind of like, uh huh, that's it. So the deal is, is that when when he signed with the Bucks, um, one of the deals was is that he could not do pro wrestling because he was he was signed to a deal. He was going to do WrestleMania and do what he did at WrestleMania, and it was going to lead to SummerSlam, which was the big one, and also. He was going to do the end of the year show at Saudi Arabia. This is when he was not going to play in the NFL when he was a retired football player. So that was the the, the, the multi event contract was those three events, and um, he's not doing any of them. Um, they they released him. It was a mutual release, or he asked for his release. I don't know if he had it put in his contract that if he played football, he could if he decided to play football, he could get a release. Um, I presume I, I would strongly presume he had that in his contract, and then he decided to play football, so that's his release. Because no NFL team is going to let a guy like him do pro wrestling matches. Not in this. I mean, this isn't. I mean, in the '60s, of course, or even in the '80s. But today, a guy like him, there's no way with the amount of money that he's making from football. So, so he's done. That was his blow off. I guess, I guess. His, he's he's no longer under contract to WWE. Um, what a nothing. All that for that. Yeah, well, but the thing is, originally, you know, originally he was going to do matches for them, and that was like a big deal. He's a big superstar. Um, and he wasn't going to play football for another season, but, you know, whatever. He changed his mind and decided to play one more season. So, you know, maybe they'll do, maybe they'll do business with him next year. 
um, once his football career ends. Because uh, he does want to do a match. He's always said that. He said he wants to do one match. And I guess with Saudi, you know, they'll, they could get him to do two. So, um, you know, it could be down the line. But right now he's out of contract.